child I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Good morning, good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. I had to think of what today. I'm off where everybody was home for Labor Day. It's like my whole week is off, so it is Wednesday. <laughs> you guys will see this video tomorrow. So I've been filming just different clips throughout the week of my cleaning schedule, well, the past week. So I'm gonna kind of put it all together and kind of share with you guys my cleaning schedule, how I keep everything clean and organized and what works best for me right now. Now, of course, if you are new here, we are currently living with my father-in-law until we purchase this house and he moves out. So we are living downstairs in the basement. Winston does have his own room, um, but I still clean upstairs and downstairs. I don't film downstairs because it's super, super dark. Um, all of the walls are wood, just like the kitchen. And there's no like actual like it's only lamps <laughs> and I cannot but I've tried to film down there and it's like super dark and like the footage is gritty so um, outside of me not filming in the basement you know y'all see upstairs unless you're new here then this is your first time watching um, I do have a vlog playlist homemaker motivation all the things I'll have that link down below for you guys 
but I've had a few people ask about my like cleaning schedule and kind of like how I keep things clean and organized throughout the week um, on top of like me doing YouTube full time. So I thought I would go over with that with you guys today. Um, so I've already got both boys off to school, um, breakfast done, lunch is packed, and I got them off. And so now, normally what I do when I first come in is I will um, get started on my daily cleaning. So for me, my daily cleaning is of course dishes, which I normally do dishes a couple times a day. And it really depends on what I have scheduled for YouTube if I need to do like extra, you know, desserts or meals or whatever. Um, throughout that day. So, of course, I could be doing dishes three times a day. <laughs> it really just depends. Um, but dishes are definitely something that I do every single day, normally a couple times a day. And then next is laundry. For me, I don't really have a laundry schedule. It's just if the hamper's full, it's time to do a load of laundry. Um, and so, sometimes that could be every single day or it could be every other day. It really just depends. Um, and I'm not a type that divides it out. Um, I normally just dump it all in and go. I've never been one to, like sometimes I'll separate like the towel. If I have a lot of towels, then I'll just do a load of towels. But most of the time, it's, since it's just the three of us, you know, we don't normally have a lot of towels. And so normally I can just throw a towel in with the other laundry and just get laundry done. <laughs> so I know I'm bad if you are one of them ones that like has to separate out whites, colors, and towels. I'm sorry. I'm not that way. I'm just, let's get it done because I hate laundry. <laughs> uh, and then um, I sweep every single day. We have a dog. We have, you know, boys, grown men that walk in and out and dirt and everything where they work. And so mop or uh, sweeping every single day is a must um, in my house. Upstairs, downstairs, all the above. <laughs> Um, and then, um, normally I go to Winston's room and I will kind of just do like a walkthrough, pick up. Um, so he does have his own bedroom, but right now, most of the time he sleeps downstairs with us, um, on the couch. And honestly, it helps my anxiety, which I know might, okay, I'm not even going to say that. I know that I almost said that might sound weird, but I know it's not going to sound weird to a lot of people because a lot of mamas are the same way. So, with us living on, like, you know, his bedroom is upstairs and we sleep downstairs. So, even with a baby monitor, I was having a really hard time sleeping in case something happened to him while I was asleep and I didn't hear it on the baby monitor. And so, I was really struggling with sleeping. So, whenever he wants to sleep downstairs, I let him sleep downstairs because it helps me and I'm able to get, a, we're all able to get sleep at night because <laughs> it helps my mama heart know that you know, I can be right there with him if something happens. Now, when we purchase the house and we move upstairs, our bedrooms are like right beside each other. So I'm sure that my anxiety will be better then. But for now, he most of the time does sleep downstairs, but he does have his own bedroom and I, you know, help him keep it clean. He does clean on the weekends and like through the summer and everything, he helps keep his room clean. But through the school year, um, now he's starting to have homework and everything and I just feel like it's my mama duty since I'm home. You know, I'm the homemaker of the house and so I feel like it's my mama duty to help him out to kind of just keep his room clean and tidied throughout the week while he's busy at school all day and then comes home and does homework and stuff. Um, so I definitely go through, um, make sure his room is straightened and then, you know, I've, I've just now started to make our beds. I used to not make our beds, but if you are new here, Luke, before we moved here, Luke always worked night shift, so he would sleep all throughout the day. So making beds for me was just not an option because by the time he got up to go to work, I was going to bed. <laughs> so for me, I never worried about making beds, but now with the way our schedule is now, I definitely, like I make Winston's if, if he's sleeping at that night or, you know, I'll make ours depending on, you know, how the day goes. But you know, that is funny to kind of get back into a habit of because we went years with him working night shift and we, I never made bed, never made bed. <laughs> so now it's kind of one of those things like I feel like I have to do or I don't know. And that's something new. Like, like I said, it's new to me because I went years without that being something that I had to do because it was pointless for me to make the bed when I'm literally about to get in it. Um, so making the beds, cleaning up Winston's room, um, and then I go through, when I sweep, 
I go through and, you know, straighten up the living room, you know, bed or the uh, couches and everything. Um, just kind of straighten up the rooms as I'm in it, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of my daily thing. Um, normally it takes me about not including the dishes because, you know, I do the dishes after dinner time, but like putting on a load of laundry, sleeping, everything, tidying up when scenery, making a bed. It's about an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I normally just kind of set a time and then bust my butt and get it done. That way it's done and over with and I can focus on my weekly um, schedule after that and then I can focus on YouTube. So, um, and then, so for the weekly schedule, so this is the stuff that I do, um, you know, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I have different things that I do throughout the week on top of my daily schedule. So on Monday, uh, since we're home on the weekends um, and we, since we live downstairs, I take Monday to clean the basement. And that includes the bathroom down there. That includes sweeping, mopping, like, and it's just like a, it looks kind of like a studio apartment. It's super small, you know, it's got a bathroom. It has a living area and then um, our bed. So it really does not take long at all for me to wipe all that out in maybe an hour. Um, so. I do everything downstairs that needs to be done in one day, and that's on Monday. On Tuesday, I like to clean the bathroom up here, and then I also like to make sure to dust everywhere. Um, so there is times where I will go into my father-in-law's bedroom and just help him out. I'll dust, sweep, and everything. Um, I normally do that about every other week just because... I don't know, just to respect his space. Like, I know he wants it clean. He appreciates it. He says he appreciates it. But I don't want to just, like, bust in his bedroom all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, about every other week, I'll go in there and just dust and do everything. But dusting is, you know, living room, hallway, his office. Grover has an office. Um, you know, just dusting wherever needs to be dusted. Now, like I said, this schedule works best for me. Um, right now. Now, it might be different whenever we buy the house and we move upstairs. I might do it like room to room, but you just have to figure out, like sit down and figure out what you do daily. Like I have a cleaning list. So like sit down with a piece of paper, write down what you do every single day, and then write down your weekly schedule. If you have certain things that are certain rooms that you want to focus on on Monday or, you know, like focus on the bathrooms on Tuesday, like just sit down and divide it out. And for me, I like doing it like something every single day of the week instead of me taking one full day and cleaning everything. For me, it's just easier. I don't know. And that might be because I'm also, you know, I work from home, like I work from home. So, you know, I have YouTube and stuff I have to do as well. So you really just have to sit down and figure out what works best for your schedule. You know, especially if you have kiddos still at home, like we only have one kiddo. So Winston's at school right now. So whenever I was trying to keep a clean house with a kiddo, it was a lot more difficult. So you just have to sit down and figure out what works best for you, your lifestyle, and what you've got going on right now. Um, on Wednesday, I don't do anything cleaning wise. That is my cleaning day off um, throughout the week because um, I focus on YouTube for Wednesdays. And then on Thursdays, I mop. Um, of course, I do my daily sweeping. And then on Thursdays, I will mop. I'll mop everything from upstairs um, because I already did the basement Monday. And then um, Thursdays, I also restock the pantry and get ready for the next week for the meal plan. So I will work on my meal plan after I restock the pantry, kind of see what we have on hand and go from there and figure out my meal plan, meal, you know, Winston's lunch schedule, like kind of figure out what all we need to get us prepared for the following week. Because on Fridays, I do my grocery shopping. So I also don't clean anything other than my daily cleaning on Fridays because I go to the grocery store on Fridays while Winston is in school. Um, and then, you know, I come home, film all that and all that. So it definitely takes a lot of extra time than me just going to the grocery, bringing it home and putting it up because I have to set it all up, film it and everything. Um, so technically, I only clean three days a week except for my daily cleaning, which is every day. But like I said, it only takes about an hour to an hour and a half for me. Um, and then uh, monthly cleaning, I like to do like the windows, the baseboards, the walls, cleaning the doors. I don't know about you guys, but when you have kiddos, 
they just like rub everything on the walls. Like they just want to touch the walls. Winston just wants to like go down the hallway and touch the walls. <laughs> so that's kind of stuff that I divide out and do monthly. I might just like pick a day. Like if I have, you know, a little bit extra time one day, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the window, the windows today. Um, I just did a vid video previously where I showed like where I did the windows. It was window day. So I did the windows. Um, and then I also wash our bedding once a month. <laughs> I just asked on Instagram how often you wash your sheets because when I wrote it down, I was like, I wonder if I'm going to get ju judged for only washing my sheets once a month. <laughs> oh, well, you do you. You wash them how often you want to. But for me, timing wise and when I normally can get around to them, it's normally about once a month. So that's fine with me. It works for me. You do you and I'll do me. <laughs> but that's really kind of everything. You know, like there might be other things where I need to, you know, say like do a deep clean of the kitchen, like go through, wipe down the cabinets and kind of stuff like that. But for me, that's just more like monthly things. And so at the beginning of the month, I may like go around the house and look and kind of like be like, okay, I need to do this one day this month. So I write it down and then when I have time for it, then I'll do it. Um, so like that kind of stuff, or, you know, like I may do like a, a spring clean, like a big deep spring clean, like wash the curtains and the baseboards and, you know, like do everything like that. But I still kind of like to divide it up where I'm not literally cleaning all day long. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's just easier that way where I can divide it up. And even with my monthly things, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some cleaning inspiration and motivation. Maybe this will help somebody. Like I said, just make a list, kind of divide it out what you want to do, what you do daily, what you do weekly, and what you need to do monthly to help keep your home organized and to your liking. Um, everybody, you know, is, has different situations right now and you just have to do what's best for you. Um, you know, physically, mentally, you know, whatever you can do is what you can do. But don't stress yourself out about it. Um, you know, as I'm saying that, <laughs> I do stress myself out about it. Um, that's, to me, you know, I beat myself up a lot about keeping a clean house because it's my responsibility. I'm the homemaker here, you know. I'm the one that's home throughout the day. Yes, I work from home, but... You know, it's still my responsibility as the homemaker to keep the house clean, you know, keep everybody fed and all that. So, I definitely beat myself up a lot over it, but I like the schedule that I have. And I feel like the schedule that I have works best for my needs where, you know, I can still get my stuff done. The cleaning stuff and YouTube and, you know, everything. Um, but... That's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope it gave you some inspiration and motivation. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.